You know, I often hear feminists talk about hijab and it, there is a very silly, I find, argument or theory that uh, just because uh, of men, you don't need to stop wearing, dressing up the way you want. In other words, it's the responsibility of men to control them, themselves and it's not your fault if you are going out there and random men are, are picking up on you or, or wolf whistling you or just cat calls, you know, being teased. <laughs> Unfortunately, I also, as a woman, as a as a woman, I have also grown up, uh, grown up experiencing that kind of thing, especially when I was younger. So wherever you go, you go to for tuitions. You're walking outside in the streets all alone, uh, especially all alone. I've noticed that men will will think that they have to, to they have to tease you. You know, they find it funny apparently, but they keep doing that. Even gr even mature grown up men keep doing that and unfortunately lots of Muslim guys do that uh, of course a true Muslim knows that they should lower their gaze that's not a true Muslim but these so-called Muslim guys they seem to have a lot of joy fun to, to tease random girls on the street so having said that it's true that men have a responsibility to to lower their gaze it's actually ordered in the in the Quran for those who have read uh, the Quran, you will know that uh, Allah doesn't discriminate. He doesn't tell you that you know it's just your your responsibility to cover up, and the men don't have to do anything. Of course, they have to. But the reality is that we we have to be realistic here. Let's say that there are thieves all around, and someone tells you to lock your door and to just close, lock your house and close your door because there are thieves around. Will you be tell, telling the person that, you know, people should not steal, that's a very bad thing, so why should I lock my door, I will leave the door open, and I will just, uh, it's not my fault, it's not my fault that people have wrong intentions and want, want to steal in other people's houses. So of course, I don't know anyone who will do that, any sane person doesn't do that, they will lock their doors, right? I know that many feminists don't agree, they believe that, you know, a woman can walk outside even naked if she wants to, and then you just blame the men. Of course, men don't have the right to attack or abuse or, or molest or tease any any woman, irrespective of the, of the way they are dressing. However, as a woman myself, I you cannot deny if you have a red, uh, if you have a minimum of general knowledge, you know about science. You cannot deny that it's not a question of sometimes men being evil or being noble. Actually, men uh, men have higher uh, a very high sexual drive it's not even their fault sometimes from what i have read it's like it's it's not in their control totally it's like that they have a very it, it, women are their weakness you know allah tells you in the quran that the women are men's weakness so as a woman you should understand that guys also have a very hard time dealing with those urges etc so when i look at when i go out and i look at the way some women are dressed i feel really sorry for men you know I feel sorry for these guys who have a hard time controlling their desires and now they keep seeing all that those scantily clad women out there. I don't know how they how they handle that. But my point is that especially ever since I started wearing hijab and dress more modestly when I go out, I have to say that the level of uh, now the way the way women dress has really worsened. You know, I was born in the in 90s, and even back then, I'm not saying that people were wearing hijab, etc. But they were, even the non-Muslim women, they were not wearing such kinds of clothes. Now, when you look at the way people are walking outside on the streets, it's like you you feel so ashamed that you can't even keep looking at the person. I don't understand why why women do that. Why do you step out of your house with half of your body outside? Some people don't have anything upstairs. Some people are wearing clothes where you don't see the fabric, you know. It's not to humiliate these people, but I, again, I come to the conclusion that, you know, perhaps non-Muslims, they don't, um, it's not their fault because they have grown up with a different philosophy for them. It's absolutely normal to go out of your house and to go in front of men barely with clothes barely on your body. Perhaps for them it's not an issue. 
but you know just imagine how uncomfortable you would feel having all sorts of men looking at your body like why would you do that what are you trying to get from that that's the point in islam as muslims we are taught to make really intelligent choices in our lives we don't live to please people and we are very confident because we also respect ourselves a lot that's something that i found incredible as a woman that i respect myself and i don't want to i want men to respect me i don't want men to lust after me i want i want men when they look at me they know that you know i this woman we are not going to flirt with her we know that she is dignified that she is a muslim and that look at the way she is dressed it sends signals whether you want it or not it sends signals the way you are dressed it sends a lot of signals unfortunately in the past i used to dress very immodestly you know when you go to the university you start mingling with other people you get influenced by them you feel like you want to belong to a group so obviously sometimes you you get carried away and you start to do things which are very un-islamic so when i was dressing that way i can tell you that i always attracted all sorts of rubbish men all sorts of very unhealthy attention and very pointless interactions that were not doing justice to me as a, as a Muslim woman. And Alhamdulillah, I have been able to change that in me because now I see that, you know, why do I need to try so hard to look hard for men? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Not only doesn't make any sense, but it seems so humiliating. Like I want to have a husband, inshallah, one day. But that's the only man that I would care to impress or to look good for, you know. Why would I be interested in every Tom, Dick and Harry out there? It's very humiliating. It's as if you forget that you're a queen and you start to kind of... I, I, don't, I don't want to use the word prostitute here, but it's like you're basically selling your, your, your appearance to the entire world and you want to do that. I see all these women, I feel really sorry for them because if only they knew that their worth is so much more than their bodies. That's also the fault of women, unfortunately, that men also believe that they can objectify us, that they can, that you know, that we have nothing to offer but our bodies because most women now give themselves so easily to the world. Like a man will not even care to appreciate a woman's character or personality anymore. So I just feel very sad that, um, you know, forget about the men, they have also their own thoughts. But as a woman, why don't you understand that God has told you to, to cover your beauty for a very specific reason? You know, if people, if women dress more modestly in this world, imagine how beautiful it would be. Men would perhaps learn to, well, men would, wouldn't have such a hard time as well dealing with those urges. They will be concentrating on their partner, hopefully. And also, I don't know, it's just very sad that the world has become such a vulgar place where, you know, it's, it sounds like the more progressed, the more rich a person is, you will see that the less clothes they wear. And, and what's really even more disconcerting and ridiculous and pathetic is that some women seem to believe that they have to copy what everyone else is doing. On Instagram, I see these cringy Bollywood uh, uh, so-called actresses that, uh, they just dress like each other. If their fellow co-workers, co-actors, or start to remove their clothes, so you will see pictures like everyone looking like the same. You barely see an actress nowadays with clothes on. They are always look at the Instagram feed. It's really I don't I can't even look because I don't see any clothes. I just see lots of flesh on display. And for what reason? So. Say Alhamdulillah that Allah has chosen to open your eyes because otherwise you will you would probably have also been in that state and just imagine if Allah takes your soul while you are dressed in such a way outside in public that must be I, I don't have any words for that but I just say again Alhamdulillah that I have been guided and I hope that I will stay this way I will stay consistent with my actions وَإِذَا مَرِدْتُ فَهُوَ يَشْفِينَ And when I get sick, he heals me.